use my head, thinking of head. What up, guys? Grubjeff here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are back, and it is this new Pass of Light event thing that's going on here, June 27th to Friday, July 1st. And we're going to take a look at it. All this kind of thing, you earn these coins, you get keys, you unlock paths, you get little treats, little gifts. Paired with that, we also have the Summer Splash event. Basically a way to just do the regular stuff we always do, but you can get a skin for your Trunda if you have a Trunda. That feels more whale-focused than anything else. But the Path of Light could potentially be good for just about everybody. There's a lovely little pack there. So I've already done some farming in order to get any kind of farming for this Path of Light here. You have Get Artifacts and Accessories. So there you go, Dungeon Map, Campaign Map. You don't get it from crafting them at the Forge, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. I guess it would be too easy then. And then Upgrading Artifacts and Accessories, which naturally you know. Is just that standard thing. So let's look at the paths here and what you can get. It's not that really great uh, of all these things. Like nothing's really like blowing you away across the thing. You know, some potions, some stuff. 600 coins, 550 coins. Nothing great. The pay scale, as you can see, is, is really all about upgrading gear. That's really going to get the pay scale. You can get some points from finding gear, you know, in dungeons and whatnot. Campaign farming while you're doing your uh, training op training up <laughs> while you're doing your, your training you can actually go ahead and get a lot of these tasty little things although it will be slow and steady to win that race personally when i'm looking at this stuff i was trying to think of what would be a good beginner one what would be a good you know whale one intermediate one and it's just like it's a tough one for the beginner for me it really bounces between these two because of their end stuff you get all these lovely books which are the hardest things to come by really and then this one, you get a couple of shards, which I guess I would say the beginner one, the dead center path here is probably the best just because of the books. And really, when you start the game, getting books so flipping hard, no pun intended, because you flip the pages of a book, but it's just so hard to get them. So what I've done is I've actually got almost 31,000 here coins. So we're going to go ahead and unlock this guy here and we're going to see how far we can go with 30,000 coins, which is basically farming spider. I think I did 300 runs of spider and then I, I did a little bit of a champion training as well. And then I probably upgraded out of those spider farmings. I upgraded 20 pieces. So there you go. So here we are. We're about halfway through this. We're still got 25,000 left. Just a couple books left here. And then the big one, the night. Yeah. So it looks like it's it's not too bad. So I mean, it's about 20,000. What was that? 20,000 or 21,400, maybe 20,400, 20, somewhere in there. 20,500. Didn't want to do the math because uh, that would take time and use head. Use my head thinking of head. Jeez, Lord. I'm really doing it well today. Anyway, let's unlock this path and see how far we can go. Just get there. See how much it takes, you know, it's not a bad choice. The only upside I would say about the center one that I really like about the center path is that if you know you can't get that far, you're not going to be able to get that many of these tokens. The center path is actually kind of nice because you're the, the soonest you can get the second key. So if you're really just thinking this is going to be your home, like buying these 250 things in kind of this area, Go down this first path first, because then you get to unlock one of these other two paths that kind of better suit your needs. That would be my strategy. Now, what do I think overall of this whole thing? Well, that's quite simple. This is a clan vs. clan solo edition. Look at all the rewards you're getting. It's roughly the same kind of stuff you get from clan vs. clan without clan vs. clan. It's designed to eat up your energy and eat up your silver. And then I guess diamonds if you're spending or gems if you're spending gems on energy. It's just an off week, neat little themed clan vs. clan. Perhaps better, perhaps a little worse. Obviously, it depends on the clan that you're in. I don't think there's going to be tears for this Path of Light event, but I'm not overly thrilled about it, but I'll do whatever I can. 
I think for this Path of Light, the best way to possibly do this whole silly little event is straight up use the coins you get by just doing what you're going to do in the game anyways. Don't go out of your way. Don't blow through your energy. Wait for something better. Anyways, oh, and the summer event thing for the ice frozen tundra. Trunda, if you have a trunda, cool, go for it. Rock it, get in there, do some stuff. Get your points. But uh, other than that, whatever, not a big deal. Anyways, I've been Grumpy Jeff. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you're going to participate. Anyways, have a good one. I'm out.